So the Battlefield 4 beta is finally here. It's been long enough, I can tell you. Uh, I came out October 1st last night from actually last in the morning. Came out at 3 a.m. for me. I was up uh, pretty late. But um, this is just kind of a collection of different clips and moments in the game that were semi-interesting. It wasn't a very um. It wasn't full of energy. It was very droll and slow paced and not quite what I was expecting. I know it is a it is a pretty early beta um, but I was expecting a little bit more from it. Um, you, you'll see some uh, excuse me you'll see some pretty big glitches and things that just they're not working right and uh, the whole time I'm using the recon I, I gave the support and the um, Assault a try. I think I even tried engineer at one point None of them really felt solid. It all felt really um, soft and What this game really reminds me of so far is Homefront um, Came out a long time ago, but it kind of feels slower and, and heavier than Battlefield 3 I think my biggest quip though is I have a pretty good computer but I have to run this on medium and it's really obnoxious. I ran it on Ultra back on uh, Battlefield 3. But I have to run this on medium just to make 60 frames a second for recording. If I throw it up to higher to Ultra, I get maybe 30 if I'm lucky. I don't really know why that's such a big difference. I don't know if it's not been optimized correctly or what, but it, it was working okay at medium. That's why it doesn't look the best it could. I have the field of view at 90 and I think motion blur is at 50 right now. But um, I think I played this map three or four times and not one fucking time did I get to see the tower fall. Uh, and the one time I was looking at it when it fell, uh, it glitched and the tower stayed up. It just played the sound effect. Uh, you'll see it later. It played the sound effect and um, the map shook and it got all hazy. But uh, the tower never fell, and uh, I was running around the base of it, and there's guys running through the air, and oh, uh, it's just, it was messed up. And uh, here in the tank, I noticed the shells have a tendency to pull to the right when you shoot them. It kind of goes to the right of the reticule, so you have to kind of, you have to really aim above your target. It's got a lot more drop, I think, than Battlefield 3. I don't know. I'm not an expert on the tanks. I really didn't spend that much time in them, but... From what I felt in this one, they felt uh, a little, a little underpowered compared to the other ones. Um, I kind of sit here for a little bit. I don't get uh, any vehicle kills. I disable this tank right here, but uh, the BTR to my left finishes him off. But I did catch the uh, guy running into the building right there. That's the only kill I get in the tank, I think. <laughs> but um, let's see what else. What else can I say about this? Um, there's been uh, not even, I don't think it's even related to the GPU, but there's just been like frame rate drops that randomly happen that really uh, screw up the, the game that you're playing, um, or it just freezes randomly. I, I can't give it too much crap though, I know this is a beta, um, so they. I hope they make a lot of improvements. I'm imagining they will. I just hope they do, because I probably wouldn't play this game very much as if... Let me rephrase it. I probably wouldn't play this game if it was released as it is right now. It's not as good as it could be. I'd probably stick to Battlefield 3. Right here I get a nice pop shot on that guy. But I'm really... I'm liking the sniper rifle. I just... I still... I don't like when you're like 600 meters away you're aiming an inch above the guy's head and like a half an inch in front of him because he's running and you you shoot and the bullet nails him right in the shoulders you, it's hard to do that and then you get a hit marker and he just runs behind corner you're not gonna run away from a bullet tearing through your chest or your shoulders I mean maybe an arm you'd still fall over a sniper rifle bullets not gonna just kinda tap you like right here I'm gonna I'm gonna get a hit marker on this guy down here, and it was very frustrating. But um, I think this is a part where the uh, tower, right there, is a hit marker. 
But I think this is where the tower starts to fall, and I uh, jump off and parachute with you guys going off the side with me, but the building never falls down. See, I think. Uh, let's see if it happens. Yep. See the building shake. My guy's like, oh, "I'm gonna get the fuck out of here." So I join him. And there goes the building sound effect. I think just after this, you're gonna see the guys that like fly through the air. And I don't. When I killed one of them with a pistol, and I don't think he could even see me from where I was at because he probably had the rubble on his screen, and I didn't. I played a little bit of the um, the domination mode very very Call of Duty-esque very small map fast-paced um, not sure if I like it or not it's really easy to get flanked in that game mode um, I think partially because of the, the the spawn the squad spawn system it's really easy to if you can get one guy behind the group you can get four if your uh, squad members actually know what they're doing but um, you know I just lost my train of thought um, fast yeah fast-paced Call of Duty-esque yes, because of the spawns um, I was trying to use the, um, pause for a sec. Here's the floating guys. Um, takes me an entire magazine and a half to kill this guy. I don't think he even saw me, too. I thought he was just getting hit through the rocks right there, because, uh, I'm sure there's rubble there. I just can't see it. But anyway, um, I tried using the, uh, the, uh, assault class on the domination mode, and it just, it did not feel powerful. The gun wasn't... I, I, I'm not quite sure how to describe it. It felt soggy. Soggy and heavy compared to the, the light pop like uh, the, of the M16A3 in uh, Battlefield 3. Because I had uh, been spending a lot of time playing that trying to get uh, ready for this. Because um, most of my time had been on GTA 5. And um, there where we have uh, Mr. Invisible who teleports and then proceeds to fuck me up and I can't do a thing about it. It's another thing. Um, I see a lot of people that like kind of uh, jump and glitch around the map and it's really frustrating because it's very hard to hit them. But uh, I just lost my train of thought again. I need to start like writing down shit to talk about. Um, I don't know what else I can say about the beta. I'm not that impressed with it though right now. I might, I might throw some more footage up of it if I uh, get anything really cool. But as of right now, probably not. But um, some GTA 5 videos will be coming out very soon. Maybe do some Forza Horizon. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We will see what the future brings. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you haven't gone and played this, I strongly recommend it. Go uh, experience the battlefield for yourself, man. And I will see you guys later.